Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at a line plot and interpret or read the results of that line plot. So let's take a look at the situation up top. A group of students were surveyed about the number of pets they have at home. The results are displayed on the line plot below. Use the line plot to answer the following questions. So number one, how many students were surveyed? Well, let's take a look at our line plot here and see what this line plot tells us. Well, the title tells us what it's about, right? It's the number of pets students have. And these numbers down here represent the number of pets. So how many students were surveyed? We need to count the number of X's in the line plot here because each X represents a student that was surveyed. So here we have, for zero we have three, for one we have three, for two we have five, for three we have one, for four we have three students, and for six we have one student. Five, there's nothing there, there aren't any X's, so no students within that survey had five pets. And that's okay if you don't have X's above all of the numbers. So how many total students is that? Well, three plus three is six, plus five is 11, plus one is 12, plus three is 15, plus one is 16. So how many students? Well, 16 students. We counted the total number of X's and remember, each X represents a student that was part of that survey. So number two, how many students have at least three pets? So at least means three or more. So we include three. So let's see. Well, for three or more, at least three, we need to look at this portion of the line plot. So we have one here for three pets, three for four, and one for six. So that is a total of five students. Number three, how many students have one or two pets? So we need to take a look at this portion of our line plot, one or two. So three students have one pet, and five students have two pets. So that's a total of eight students. And lastly, this is probably the most difficult question out of the four. How many total pets do the students have? This is not a matter of just counting up all of the X's because each X, for example, right here, each X holds a val value of zero because each of those students have zero pets. So this is zero right here. This is going to be worth zero for that question. Here for one pet, right, we have three students that have one pet. So those X's represent a value of one. So I'm going to circle this three so we know that uh, the value of that part of the graph is three. Now two pets here, we have five students that have two pets at home. So how many total pets is that? It's not five, it's actually 10, because again, each of those five students have two at home. So this is going to be 10. Then for three pets, we have one student with three pets. So the value of that X in terms of pets is three. Four pets, well, three students have four pets. So that's a total of 12. And then lastly, we have one student with six pets. So that holds a value of six. Now we're ready to count up all of those pets. So we have three here, 13, 
16, 28, 34. So a total of 34 pets. So there are some examples of interpreting line plot questions uh, that require you to know how to read that line plot and like the title says, interpret the data. So hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.